How is everybody doing out there? I want to ask you a quick question. Like, how is your soul? How do you feel? Right? I'm, and, and I'm not just talking about your physical life, but just overall, your soul. Because you do have a soul. And, and I think when we feel just lost and we feel all alone, especially when we're, we're faced with physical issues, uh, we're, we're, we got that bad diagnosis, and man, it can really hit us, not just in our bodies, right? Not just in, in my mind, it's gonna affect my mind, it's also gonna affect my soul, my heart, it's gonna affect all of me, because all of me is all of me. Uh, we're, we're not little compartments, we're not little sections, we're not little, uh, right? We're, we're, we're not split up and divided into these different things, uh, but we, we are all, it's all together, it all matters, and everything affects everything else. It is so true. And um, if you look at 3 John chapter 1, verse 2, man, well, we don't talk a lot about 3 John. In fact, uh, John's third letter is one of those, uh, you, you know, if you blink, you miss it, uh, because there's, it's only one chapter and, uh, and you know, in just uh, 15 short verses. But we're going to look at verse 2. He says, Beloved, I pray that all may go well with you and that you may be in good health as it goes well with your soul. So he wants your physical health of the people that he's writing to. He wants, he wants things to go well, like in their life, their health to go, you know, great, uh, but also um, their, their soul. Realizing, again, that, that if something's on my mind, it's going to affect me physically and it's going to affect my soul. If, if I have something that hits me down deep on, on that soul level, it's gonna affect. It's gonna be on my mind. That thing is gonna probably leave a knot in my stomach, and it might even cause like if I don't deal with that over over a period of time, a prolonged period of time. Especially, it's gonna affect me. It just does. You know, it does. Some stuff maybe not so severe, but other things, yeah, it can, it can cause all kinds of things because it just messes with us. But I but I pray that this is your prayer. Uh, for yourself, but also your prayer for others. And, and, and maybe like, like if we were to say, you know what, I'm going to make this my goal every day. That I ask people, how's it going? How are you? Not just in a polite way, but, but maybe I really want to know, like, how's it going? Like, like how can I help? What can I pray? What can I pray about? Because John was praying for these people. And if you look in the scripture, there's just... Um, you know, evidence everywhere, like incident after incident of, of, of people praying and praying and praying and praying this kind of prayer, right? Looking at your life in this way, saying like, how is my soul? Like, how is, how are things going? Like at school or at work, how is it? And, and how is maybe something that I'm not dealing with? Maybe something emotionally, maybe, maybe there's some kind of sin in my life I got to deal with. Maybe there's a, a relationship issue and I, and I got to, I got to take that to God. I got to ask Jesus for his wisdom so that I can handle that. And, and, and again, God wants to bring that healing. That's where healing comes in as he does his work. It's not always easy, uh, especially if we're dealing with any of those types of things. They're all painful. But Jesus wants to heal us. He wants to, us to, to go well with our soul. It's like that old hymn, right? It is well. It is well with my soul. And again, a lot of the writers of a lot of those kinds of hymns didn't write that when everything was going perfect. It was in the darkness when they lost a lot of things in their lives. Time after time. That, that's when you see the deepest prayers of faith. And it's not arrogance. It's saying, you know what? It's just, I'm, I'm good because God is good. I'm, I'm okay because He's with me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be healed and I'm being healed because He is a God of healing and He's a God who loves me and He's with me. All right? So please, let, let's, let's go to Him every day. Let, let's be praying for each other. And, uh, and again, every day, that goal, how am I going to make someone else's life a little bit better. What can I do? Maybe just by asking them how they're doing. All right. I'm Pastor Fred. This is the follow through and we will talk to you next time for another one of those. If you haven't hit that subscribe button and share this with somebody. Talk to you next time.